In order to analyze tacks and jibes, we need to know that you're racing so that we can accurately predict the direction of the wind. If you don't have the course set up already, head to the tab, watch the video, and then set up your race. The wind predictions start out with meteorological data and are refined by the maneuvers of your boat. For example, when you make a tack, we assume that you're trying to sail upwind towards the mark and will adjust the wind accordingly. You can also manually adjust the wind and current by selecting the point in the race on the course and entering the information here. You can adjust the wind direction at the start and for each leg by selecting the leg in the list here under the course. The first step to analyzing tacks and jibes is to turn on the groove analysis lines. This will show the stability of your course. When you do that, you'll see that tacks and jibes show up as clickable little dots. You'll also see them here in the timeline. And by clicking on one, you can advance to that point. Let's open a tack and start with the tacking angle. As we watch Libra complete the tack, the tacking angle is simply the angle here between where you started the tack and where you finished, as we can see here in the GPS track. So this tack was 77 degrees. The next thing you see is the oversteering. Oversteering is this little bubble right here in the GPS track. It's how many degrees you oversteered the tack. And the way this is calculated you can see here is where the track steadied out in the groove analysis. That's where your course became steady. And in this area of unsteadiness, you can see very clearly the oversteering. So it just calculates the difference between the angle here and the angle where you eventually settled. And that's your oversteering. Next, we have the minimum speed over ground, minimum VMG, and duration. Let's take a look at all three of those by changing to front view. As we click through the tack, we see that the minimum speed as we slow down gets down to 2.4, 2.3, 2.2, not a terribly fast recovery here. And if we click on, we can see it just says, yes, you hit a minimum of 2.2 and a minimum VMG is 1.5. Now to look at the duration and recovery, it's actually easiest to look from the top. So here you can see that Libra is in the groove. All the dots are lined up here. Remember, you get one dot for each second. So let's advance one second at a time. The tack actually begins here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now the tack is completed. And at this point, it's tracking how many seconds it takes to recover. Once the boat reaches the first groove line and has settled back into the course, recovery is calculated as complete. So we have a duration of seven seconds, a recovery time of 13 seconds, and the time lost is a proprietary formula calculated by race cues that takes into account your time and distance and figures out how much elapsed time overall you lost in this maneuver. For lots more information, go to racecues.com slash podcast and check out podcasts 18 and 21 on tacking.